In your own terms, how would you define the role of the school board? And what are your responsibilities as a school board member? Okay. Well, a school board member, a representative, um, says it all. Uh, if I'm elected, I'm a representative of my district, the people in my district, um, and that's who I go to the school board to represent. Um, school board members also, though, um, govern policy and hire and fire the superintendent. Um, but my main role above all is to represent my district and to serve the school board as a member of 12 um, to make sure that all the children of Caddo have the best possible education. Um, the current Caddo school's operating budget is over $490 million. What is your experience with understanding and working with budgets and what experience do you have that prepares you to oversee an operation of an organization of this size? Okay, well, I've never dealt with a budget that large, but what I have done is I've worked with uh, PTAs. I've been the president of um, PTAs at every level, level, elementary, middle, high school. I've been a foundation president. And so with each of those comes their own budget that you have to work with them and set. Um, and so I have done that. And then the past 11 years, I was a coordinator for a pediatric literacy program, uh, a nonprofit. And so I oversaw that budget. Um, so that is my experience with, with the budget. Um, I realized that um, it's a large budget and um, that we're responsible for overseeing it and being fiscally responsible with that, with the taxpayer money. Which current Caddo Schools programs or initiatives do you believe are working and producing results? And which programs or initiatives need to be updated or changed? Okay, we are obviously in a very, um, we're in uncharted waters. Um, this is a very difficult time. And so um, currently, I feel like that, I, I mean, as a school district, we're trying to just wade through these waters and keep everyone safe um, and come out on the other side, um, you know, as, as a whole <laughs> school system, um, again, and, and back to normal. Um, but we, when we have made, before this epidemic, I feel like um, many schools were improving. Um, and what I would like to see are really, it's really a uh, more of a focus on um, trade, training students who might be interested in, um, um, you know, the trades, uh, vocational trades. Um, that's really what I feel like we need to um, spend a lot, of, a lot of time and effort on. Um, I feel like that we could improve our workforce in Shreveport Bossier if, if we did that. Um, and so I really want that to be a viable option for a lot of our students. One of the greatest challenges facing the state are the unfound, unfunded pension liabilities. While the state has primary control over the retirement portion, the medical portion is under the control of the district. What steps do you believe the district needs to undertake to address this issue, both long-term and short-term? Okay, um, I mean, this is something that I need to educate myself more on, but I do feel like that what we could do is um, maybe encourage our employees to um, exercise an exercise program, maybe some, um, uh, healthy eating initiatives, something proactive so that we aren't um, spending a lot of, of money on um, medical needs as they arise, but kind of head those off before they happen. For the past decade, the student population of Caddo Parish Public Schools has been declining. While there have been a number of school closures, the number and location of schools no longer match the demographics of the district. 
what steps do you believe the school system should take to address those changes? Um, I know that we have been losing somewhere in the neighborhood of 800 students per year. And obviously when that happens, um, the school system loses money because the money follows those students. Um, I think a lot of those students are, you know, maybe going to other districts, some are going to private schools. So I really think we need to look at what is happening there, um, highlight the good things that Caterpillar schools can do and are doing. Um, and um, unfortunately, you know, with losses like that, um, changes are gonna to have to be made to the budget. Um, while each board member represents a specific district, many of the challenges facing the public schools are district-wide problems. How do you see balancing your responsibility to your specific district and to the Caddo Parish Public Schools as a whole? Uh, yes, each representative does represent a specific district and we are elected by the people in that district. So um, we need to listen to our constituents in our district what, and listen to their concerns, voice their concerns, um, and then be an active member of the board of a cohesive, as cohesive as we can make it board. We need to um, move together as a board to, for the good of every single student in Caddo Parish. And, and that would be my goal if I was elected. Can you share with us an example of when your ethics or integrity were tested? How did you respond? Okay, um, my morals and my integrity are uh, really guided by my faith. Um, so I, I, I really do I answer to God in that respect. Um, I have also been, you know, working in the healthcare profession, I mean, at a big hospital for 11 years. And so working in, in around patients, I mean, you're held to the absolute highest um, ethics and integrity um, because patient confidentiality and patient care um, requires you to, to hold to those, those ethics and integrity. Um, and, and but above all that is my faith. Question eight, what two priorities will you have as a school board member and how will you work with collaboratively with other board members to integrate those priorities into the work of the board? Well, my priorities are, um, would be to come through this epidemic uh, safely uh, on the other side, um, back to normal really, um, and, and work with our, our other board members to make sure that happens. Um, and then, like I said, to, um, to really encourage students um, to pursue um, training. And I think that that's what uh, our city needs. I think there's a lot, there are a lot of jobs out there that need employees um, and our students could, could fill those if they were trained properly. This will be your final question and we'll include okay. your final remarks. So is there anything you would like to address that we have not yet covered? Well, I guess I just wanna say that I am a lifelong resident of Shreveport, really of this district. I've never really lived outside of District 8. Um, and so I went to school in this district. I, I graduated um, from Magnet High School. Um, my children uh, are products of this district. My oldest daughter has decided to move back to Shreveport and, and she has a job now here. Uh, and so in the future, I could um, possibly, hopefully have grandchildren um, that go to school in this district. So this is um, very important to me and um, this, this is really where my, um, my passion is. Um, so 
that's that's how I'm feeling led to 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 be in this role. 